and we get this started. Are y'all ready? I can't do a shake. Are y'all ready to get this started? I said, are y'all ready to get this started? I need a shake. Are y'all ready to get this day started? Today is decision day, 2023. And so bring it in. We want to have a marching band. Bring us in. So y'all make some noise for the symphony, a song. They come in here. They come in here. They come in here. They come in here.
in the ant smasher style. You will not equal, you will Thank you for being great examples for our community. Today is an exciting day for you. I'm looking forward to seeing all the photos from today. For our parents and supporters, thank you for being here with them for this important activity. And I am so looking forward to seeing you come across that stage in the Mark Arena. Thank you and have a great day today. I'm so excited for you. Congratulations. Hey, y'all can keep giving up our superintendent. <laughs> All right, so um, we're going to go ahead with the program and for the occasion so they can understand what today is really about, we're going to bring up Dr. Tiffany Frazier. Y'all give her a round of applause. Good morning, Johnson family. As he said, I'm Dr. Frazier. I'm one of the assistant principals here at Johnson High School, and we are so excited, so honored all of you here with us today. Once again, the occasion. This is an opportunity for you guys to realize and to see that this is just the beginning. You will be exiting Johnson High School, secondary school, and transitioning to your post-secondary options. And we are so excited for you. Parents, your students have made you a difficult four years. Your baby is more tasked with enduring COVID, having to learn at home, transitioning from being in a school building to having to go to a school online. And that was a hard task. And then also having to transition back into the school building. And with perseverance and endurance, they have made it through. Parents, I want you to give yourselves a round of applause for all the blood. Thank you so much. I want to introduce our, our keynote speaker. Our keynote speaker, I'm proud. You know what I said? I work at Savannah State. Any Savannah State alone out here?
will you choose? That's the question. What will you choose? Where will you go? What will you do? Are the burning questions in my mind and the burning questions for our city. This day, this day of decision is a day that has been set well before you were born. This day was a day that your parents dreamed of when they lifted you up cleaned you off and thought about their wildest dreams and goals for you. When you began your first day of pre-K or kindergarten or first grade, it was all in preparation for this day. When you get to the crossroads of secondary education and what you do after, what are you going to choose? Where are you going to go? And what are you going to do? And I want you to make sure that you recognize how important this day is and the significance of this day. Because if you notice, Although it's your decision, you're not by yourself. Look to the left and right of you. Look, y'all look. It's somebody sitting next to you. Somebody who's been riding this journey with you. For years, they rode hard for you. When other folks did, they were down for you. When other people left you, look behind you. Look behind you. Take a look. There are people there that are cheering you on. Yeah, y'all cheer for them. And they're watching what you do because they know they got that. They know a year from now, two years from now, they will be sitting here. And so your decisions influence theirs. Look over there. Look over. And look over here. And all of these faculty and staff who have given their best of their service for you, who have, who have invested in you, because their legacies also depend on what you choose. What do you do? Where do you go from here? And so I'm excited for you because it was only about 10 years ago when I made my choice to go to Savannah State College. Only 10 years ago. Only 10 years ago, I said. Well, it was actually not, but this was round up to say 10 years ago. But the decision that I made helped to propel every other decision that I made and every other door that was opened. If I did not go, to Savannah State, I would not be the mayor of Savannah. You understand what I'm saying? It all connects. Each step, each, each decision you make creates another step and another decision. So whatever you choose, make sure you choose something. Because nothing is not an option. Choose something. 
Secondly, if you choose it, go with it. Stick with it. Never forget your squad, and never forget that you have people around you supporting you. Even if you have to redirect, even if you have to, to modify, whether it's college, whether it's military, whether it's technical school, whether you decide to, to go into your own business for yourself, do something. Go somewhere and make a difference. We're so excited for you because you're choosing this day for the rest of your life. And your actions affect Johnson High School. Your actions affect the city of Savannah. I am so freaking unbelievably proud of every single one of you. Even if you didn't go to Savannah State. I forgive you. You're going to be great at all of you, but y'all going to get beat during football season, just know. I'm a Georgia Southern Eagle, so that's good too. Yeah, I'm an Eagle too. I'm speaking at the commencement tomorrow. What's it looking at? We're going to beat Albany. We're going to beat Albany. We're going to beat Albany. We don't play these Georgia, but we will beat them too. Uh, Scandal won that in Savannah State. We will beat them too. But the reality is that you have a tomorrow based on what you do today. So we're all wondering, what are you going to choose? Where are you going to go? And that you've created for yourself a great opportunity. The harder you work, the more you strive, the better opportunities you have. You always want to have options. Right? So you're going to work from here on to make sure that you always have as many options as you want to take. There are a hundred ways to get from Savannah to Atlanta. Which road would you choose to get there? And there are many roads to choose from mediocrity to greatness. What road would you choose? And finally, I want to thank parents, because we spend a lot of time in our community talking about young people who don't do the right thing. But I want to salute parents for raising young people that can are doing the right thing. Y'all give them a round of applause. All right. If it was my mom, I'll be standing up and screaming for my mom and my dad. All right? These individuals have held you down from day one. Y'all sit here. Make the decision to stand up right now. Y'all stand up. Stand up. Stand up. And make some noise for your parents. Come on, show them the real life. Thank you. 
Mrs. Angela Corinthian, host the very first Precision Day. We have aimed to reignite a mindset of inspiration and intentionality regarding future endeavors in our students. Our plan of action has included the following three components. Exposure, exposure, exposure. Whether students have made their choices from college and career week, a career conversation, or on their own, Decision Day is a special theme and time for students to publicly announce their established, established plans. Some students have written plans to enroll in college, enlist in the military, or employment. On this day, we bear witness to their visions made plain. Days like today inspire us to continue bridging the gap between students and the wealth of opportunities available to them. And to our atomic decision makers, my personal charge to you is this. Continue your education and training to find your purpose and passion in life. Be productive and successful citizens. Finally, remember our motto, not to equal, but to excel. We're honored to, pre to present this certificate to students. This certificate acknowledges your commitment to continuing education, military, or career development after high school, signed by our principal, Mr. Gary Dojama. First row, at this time, if you would please stand, grab your name cards, and proceed to the stage. Tila Bolton will attend Albany State University and major in biology. If all of our Albany State acceptees will please go over to the photo booth so that we can take pictures. Or rather, hold that up and we'll wait for that. Ayana Gaffney will attend Bethune Cookman University. Naya Myers, good. 
Dat voor je wat?
and the Brothers POD Photography are here. So we want to thank all of them for their participating and helping us make this day happen. And before we leave, we do have one final address to make. So if we can cue that up at this time, and we give our final address to our graduating seniors. Well, hello and greetings to the Saul C. Johnson High School class of 2023. Saul C. Johnson High School, not to equal, but to excel the mighty Adam Smashers. Raphael Warnock here, class of 1987. But you might know me better as a pastor and as one of your United States senators. I'm so proud of you for finishing high school and moving to the next stages of your life. This is an important milestone. You have crossed the river, the ocean lies in front of you, but we should pause and celebrate this moment. And whether you are joining the bustling Georgia workforce or making your way to college or serving your country in the military, I have no doubt that you will make the entire Johnson High School community proud. You know, my time at Johnson High helped prepare me to pursue my life's work from attending Morehouse College, to serving in the pulpit of Dr. King's church, to serving all of you and our state in the Senate. After everything Johnson gave to me, I can only imagine how much it gave the class of 2023 and how far you will go. So I'd like to take this moment uh, to thank the Chatham County Public School System Central Office, my friend, Mayor Van Johnson, your principal, Derek Muhammad, as well as all of the faculty, the staff, and other members who have forged you and shaped you into the future leaders and thinkers of our state and indeed our nation and the world. I am so very proud of you. Your future is as bright as the promises of God. Keep your eyes on the prize. Thank you so much. Keep the faith and keep looking up. Thank you all. I'm going to hand back off to our uh, MC for this, uh, this afternoon. But I also want to, before we go, I want to thank our counseling staff for making this happen. And we want to give a very special thank you to Mr. Rindian for uh, working this with us together for all of our uh, faculty staff, and especially you students and parents. Thank you very much. All right, CJ, that's good. I think it's time to get some jams. All right, what we want to do now is we want to congratulate everybody. So we want those seniors. Shout out to those seniors in the bleachers. Where are the seniors at in the bleachers? I heard there was some seniors in the bleachers and some juniors. What we want to do is we want to come down and we want to congratulate all our seniors for the decision. So hopefully next year for our juniors who are here, you may connect with them back at their school or their place of employment. So I want to thank um, the principal and um, your staff and Ms. Uh, C, Ms. Corinthian, for allowing me to be here today. But uh, CJ, let's see what you got. Pressure, pressure. What's all I like? What's all I like? Yeah, y'all can come on now. Congratulations. Let me give a shout out. 
to return safe here and parents and everyone else, it's time to head out. So all my underclassmen, you gotta head out. I tried to turn y'all up right quick, but we wanna, yeah, we we'll saw all our seniors and the ones who are signing.